Hey everyone, it's Tim Holtz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters. Now I wanna share with you just some of my favorite tips and tricks on using the side order of adhesive sheets. Now, these adhesive sheets, they come 10 in a pack and they are already cut to size to fit through the Sizzix Sidekick. Really convenient. And what I like about adhesive sheets are just the ability to already die cut all of my shapes and have adhesive on the back. So whether I'm doing cards or tags, it's just a simple peel and stick. And here's how easy it is to work with the adhesive sheets. So what we're going to do is just start with your adhesive sheet and whatever cardstock you like to work with. And I'm just going to peel on the back where it says peel here. I'm just gonna take that and peel off this paper. Now this is double-sided adhesive sheet, all right? So we only need to peel off one side to start. That's the one that says peel here. And I'm going to put this onto the back of my cardstock. So you can see here I've got colored cardstock and I wanna apply it to the back. So I'm just gonna place this, just kinda of lay this down, do your best kind of lining that up and stick that down and now this is basically adhesive back cardstock. And I like to go in and do this to several different colors of cardstock. I take any of my favorite papers and already go in and put the adhesive sheets on the back. This way when I'm ready to cut and craft, I can just go for it. I don't have to apply that each time. So what we're going to do is just do a simple assembly and show you how creative convenience these little side order of adhesive sheets are. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna place my die down. Now, I know sometimes when people do this, they're very frugal with their cardstock and you wanna cut right up to the edge. My advice, give yourself just a little bit of play. You don't need much, but you do want some just in case as you go through your die happens to shift left to right, you don't wanna waste this piece. So this way I've got just a little bit of an edge and I'm going to take this and place it down on my cutting pads that come with my sidekick. And I always put that die right onto the front or the top of that cardstock and we're just gonna place that in. And I have my sidekick attached to the media mat. Great with that suction. And we're going to take this out. Now, once we take this out, we have a couple of options. We can use the side order of tools, like our little brush to take out those pieces, or you can go in with your die pick as well and you can pop these out. Now, here's a couple of things to note when you're taking this out. I like to work on a nonstick surface whenever I'm using the adhesive sheets because sometimes everything will come out just perfect where I still have that release paper on the back. Sometimes it's going to cut, but it's going to leave that release paper still stuck in there. And now when I pop these pieces out, they're sticky, they're ready to go. But this way, if I do this on a non-stick surface, I can just take these off and use them, which is what I'm going to do here. So what I've taken for this die is I've gone in and cut it out of three different colors of cardstock. You could just do this out of watercolor paper if you wanted to color each element with your markers. But I think it's nice because by doing this, I'm still gonna get three finished hats for our project. Now, when we go to build this up, it's pretty simple. As I mentioned these, we've already taken the backing off, so I'm just gonna take my die pick, I'll place this down, just kind of move it around and use the pick to kind of secure that in place. So again, I'll pick this up, it's just gonna stick right on that. Look how cool that is to have everything already pre-adhesive. I'm telling you, once you use adhesive sheets, they are gonna be uh, one of your great creative friends. All right, there we go, we've got our star stuck down. Over here, we've got our little fringe for our hat. And we're just gonna stick that down in place. And we've got our little top. And again, these already have uh, the backing removed. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So once I have this assembled, what I like to do when I work with the adhesive sheets is take all of my elements for my side orders and do this, assemble all of my different party hats. This way, when you're ready to do invitations or cards, all you need to do with your element is flip that over, take your pick, go in, grab that release paper, Peel this off, and then you can go in and place it right on to your card. Look at that, creative convenience at its finest with adhesive sheets for your Sizzix Sidekick.